You look really uncomfortable in it. Very scary. You look like super uncomfortable. <laughs> You're just like, well, I don't like, know how to sit anymore. Hey, Steven. Hey, Sean. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello, sir. So, Steven, this beer, courtesy of you. Yes, this is a Tell this, the is viewers. A, this is a Stefan Jim that he was uh, actually like very very excited about when we got here, and so I'm pumped about. All right, it. this is Endless Ending from uh, Anchorage Brewing in Alaska. Last time I had it, I said that this was a top three beer all time for me, so I'm hoping that it has held up. When was that? Uh, about a year ago. The same and vintage. Is it from the same vintage? I believe it is. Okay. Have you only brewed it once? I, I haven't seen it. Sense, Did so you I purchase them at the same time? Um, no, same. no. I they all come questions. from Tavor. <laughs> no, they, they, they've all come from random people. When I saw post them, I'm like, all right, I want another okay. bottle of this. Okay. What can I trade for it? So I'm not exactly sure the vintage of it, but I haven't seen anyone posting it like recent releases of it or anything. What's the ABV? It is. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's an. It's a. Uh, <laughs> it's a barley wine imperial stout blend. Age 18 months in Woodford Reserve, double oak barrels, 15.5% alcohol. What, what's the picture of a problem? <laughs> we got two uh, head budding <laughs> big horn sheep with their skulls, or actually like human skulls in them. Why is the wax cutter ready? Did someone drink it and rebottle it? Yes. Okay. So if it's endless ending, does that mean that the, the bottle's never going to... Yeah. Yeah. I really wish it's that was really true. It's a really Wonka beer? Everlasting yes. gobstopper? You pour it out, you open it, it fills right back up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> no turning back now. Oh, that pours out like a little oil. That's what the kids call thick. That's what the kids call thick. This is like um, I know we we're we're on the tail end of a trip to Fox Farm. This is very much the same kind of viscosity as that. Uh, oh yeah, as that Did you right beer that, yes, you, that yeah. I had there. You know whatever the hell that was the, called that I drank that I can't remember. Steven had it too, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Volt? Volt? If, you know, if, if you don't have enough for everyone, let me know. I'll give you a little bit of mine. Man, that is dark. That is thick. It's it is cold yeah, still. I probably should have left it out a little bit. But. Eh. No, I like that. I like it. I way even warm up. Yeah, it looks like a stout. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what to say it. Honestly, yeah. I'm <laughs> odor oil. I, you know, for something as thick and blended and as big, it actually has a really nice kind of head to it. You know, a lot of a lot of times, not that it's effervescent or anything, yeah. but... You give it a twirl and that head comes right back yeah. pretty decently. You don't really see that a lot nowadays. It's kind of typically dies off quite a bit. And it's just legs. You know? And I, I think that's a criminal thing. Like undercarb heavy beers, I mean, just come off. You could still drink them, but they come off like, you know, more distillate, yeah. more yep. liquor like and stuff. So there are some there are some little brown hues on, on the edges. Yeah, yeah. But so it's not like pitch, pitch black, but it's thick. So you're not getting yeah. any light through it. Yeah. Nose, nose it. The nose, nose. Nose it. Well, strong. It's like cookies and cream. Raisins, figs. Yeah, yeah definitely big dried fruits. You can definitely, you can definitely get the vibes that it's it's not just a stout. Or it's not just a barley one. It has that roasty toastiness that you get from a stout, but it has that you know uh, raisinetty figgy thing yeah, that you get from an aged yeah. barley one. You yep. know, and um. I mean, it's spirit forward, but I'm, I venture to say, I think it's going to drink pretty fucking easy. Like, you could tell it's a huge beer, but it's not like it's burning my nostrils or anything. It's just a powerful smell thing. Thick. Yeah. Yeah. You guys ever smell thickness? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you down with the thickness? Yeah. It's, yeah. Are you down with the Swiss You ever do that? Swiss Like the hot chocolate? And it comes off almost like, like, you know, it, it, it's better than, I would say. But very much like a Florida beer, like it's pastry stouty, with, but without having the pastry stout components added to it. Like a lot of vanilla, a lot of coconut, a lot of all the chocolates and all the things that people in Florida just shove into a fucking beer. But this is all natural. Yeah, yeah. Try it. Try it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. That is that is interesting. Yeah, there's something there. A little bit of a burn. I don't get a burn. I don't think it's a burn. I get it in it's the a, chest. It's, it's cool. almost like a medicinal, like, like sat, uh, not sat but it's like recoil, like, you know, or something. It's way more. It's not as thick as I thought it was. It's way sweeter than a little bit thinner, yeah. yeah. 
Off, off the nose? nose? Yeah, yeah, off the nose. Yeah. Is like a lot yeah, of I don't get it. Like yeah, I, I get the test really. I get, um, I guess compared to other ones, it's a little bit more malt and sweet than your typical, like, yeah. roast beef. It's got, like, an herbal yeah. thing, too. Like, it's, yeah, it's yeah. not it's totally in that area, but I'm, it's adjacent. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. not like it's minty and I'm, like, getting this eucalyptus thing in my nose or whatever, but it has this kind of little, little herbaceous, medicinal herbaceousness. Yeah. Holy shit. The I just of, found my rap name. The <laughs> medicinal herbaceousness? Yeah, hell yeah. So, a touch of cherry. I get a yeah. little bit of cherry. Yeah. Like if you were saying medicinal, I was actually almost thinking almost like a little bit of cherry cough medicine, but not in a bad way. Just a little yeah. bit of that. In slightly in that direction, yeah. 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 Like you can definitely tell that this was not this is a stout and a barley one because it's like you got you got that like roasty toast in it. Just like on the nose, you yeah. can kinda of tell the difference and then you get that like ale like the barley wine ale vibe. Yeah. I like it. I don't I mean talk okay, about yeah. it. I'm talking about it in that negative sense. I like yeah. it. But it's not top three all the time. Okay. Do you still know? No, what are your thoughts? That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Compared off of memories, memories. I don't think anything could probably match the memories, yeah. but I still think it's great. Yeah. What are your? I guess like what? What notes are bringing you to top three for this? Like what's? <sighs> this just answering for you. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's that I haven't seen many, if anyone, be able to duplicate this kind of the kind of flavors where it doesn't feel like it's your standard barley wine or your standard sour, even your standard blend. It, it just feels it feels special. That's a good point. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you just don't really see a lot of breweries doing yeah. the barley wine stout yeah. or more, kind of like more the barley wine quad blend. Well, but, but like for example, like, like uh, we yeah. Firestone, yeah. really. Well, no, like for example, some, we didn't like, um, like J- Jackie O's will Definitely do it. Not, yeah, it's, um, well, last year we did the we did the um, the blend from uh, Fox Farm. Yeah, and we were a little oh, bit yeah. underwhelmed with it. Yeah, um, it was still yeah. good, but it wasn't amazing. Um, I I'm forgetting what it was called. Uh, Mantle, I think. I think what I like about this is it's not as syrupy as like a regular just a bourbon barrel aged stout. Like with the barley wine aspect to it, too. It, it thins makes it out a little, a little bit. More, yeah, yeah, it makes it a little bit more drinkable. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think it's pretty syrupy, but in a good way. <laughs> I don't think yeah. it's super Yeah, but it's not like too thick, like syrupy, like some yeah, of the beers I that we've had. The base style would probably be super syrupy. A little bit. I yeah. do. It almost. It do does, they even make it? It does feel a little bit. Or is this just created? Yeah. Like is the barley wine in the style? Is it like, like, oh, we take our and then take our and then put it in barrels? Or is it like, no, we made this. I'm assuming they make a base, a stout in a barley wine just for this, probably. I think so, yeah. I don't think they're just like, oh, we're just ramming shit together. You know I what I mean? Some breweries do it. I don't think they're the kind of breweries yeah. that does that. I do think maybe with another year, it might have it, it might have gotten a little thinner. Really? It may have gotten yeah, thinned out a little bit. Yeah. I'm like, you know, they're talking about how it's a little effervescent, still has a little bit. I think it might have been like a little fluffier, a little thicker feeling. A little fluffy, you say. A little fluffy. <laughs> we went to lunch. And I got pizza and it had a little spicy on it and I got a little boo boo in my tum tum. And I just woke up, so I've been awake for about eight minutes and this is perfect. I think everyone did everyone fall asleep? I fell asleep. I didn't. You didn't know? Nope. Did you? Yeah, on the couch. Put together the table. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> like, watching Steven and I put together the uh... Nice, nice. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> people like like why am I watching this still? <laughs> uh, Why were you watching it to begin with? Is the question. <laughs> down in the comments, if you had Endless Ending by Anchorage, do you think it's a top three beer like Steven does? Do you Wait. think it's very... Yes. How much did you pay for it? Oh, yeah. This one, I don't remember. It was cheap. It was only $85. No, I think <laughs> I, I think I traded... Oh. I think I traded about 35 bucks worth of beer for it. Oh. 35 okay. plus shipping. Oh, so okay. probably close to... Probably came to close to fifty dollars in cost overall. Is, cost. And do you know if that's kind of sort of around where it would be? I fail? think I think MSRP on it is about fifty bucks. Okay, so yeah. there you go. Or the bottle. Yeah, you got a deal. Oh, so, yeah. But yeah, um, check out Matt. Matt's the beer reviews, right? Yes. Yep. Right. Tanner, where can we find you? I don't want to say East the Coast name. LQ reviews. Thank you. We'll link to both of them, like somewhere over here, in the middle of the ether. Uh, and you can check us out at nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. Like, comment, subscribe, and those notification bells. So you know when we post new videos. And I'm Sean. I'm Matt. I'm Steven. Damn. This, <laughs> this is, is Nerdsense. Nerd nerd Cheers. Imbibe. Yeah, most importantly, imbibe. Cheers. Wait, wrong channel. <laughs> Shit. <laughs>